Have you guys ever wondered what kind of condition an RV is in when it has over 100,000 miles? Well, we just took in this 2008 Holiday Rambler Scepter 42 PDQ. It's got 113 on it. Let's go see the condition. Well, hello and welcome back to RV Walkthroughs. As always, my name's Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. And as usual, we got a special one for you. This is an extremely well-kept 2008 Holiday Rambler Scepter 42 PDQ. It's a quad slide diesel pusher. It's got a 400 Cummins in the back, an 8.9 liter. It's windy, so all my compartment doors keep shutting. But let's go give this a tour. We're gonna check out the exterior, exterior, and then we will jump inside and see what the interior has to offer. Up front, 10,000 watt Cummins on engine set. 642 hours on it. It does have the front protective mask. That's why it looks a little shoddy over here, but it's all just a film. So it's doing its job in protecting the face of that. Side vision cameras. Nice little electrical. It's actually very well kept and clean in here. Look at that. Your tires on this bad boy. They're big, they're big. So we got 2220 for a day code at the bottom. And then we got 295-75R, 22 and a half. Pretty decent size. So. You got two slides on the driver's side and you got two slides on the curb side. We do have a uh, window on these that have metal covers. One on this side, two on the other side. I do gotta, we have a little, little fixes we gotta do in the slide toppers. Previous owner had them taped up. I'm not sure why we'll fix it. This thing just came in earlier today. So you're gonna see the condition it was in as we just got it. Fuel fill is right there. And then you got a tank right there. Next over, it's all side latching compartment doors. One nice big pass-through storage tray. Perfect for a single broom. Another big pass-through storage tray with a slide out. Very nice. That'll go out both ways. Perfect for the ladder. As you can see, we got an Eureka central vac system. Next up is your dump station. How many times have I already had to roll up these paper towels from the wind? My gosh. Outdoor shower, tank flush, satellite connections, level testers, your actual dumps right down there. And then your other slide out, which is for the bedroom. Now, of course, it's well over 42 foot. I think it's a 42 and a half. We'll double check the size inside. You got a tag axle. You got eight tires on this bad boy. Singles, doubles, singles up front. Looks like the tires are all matching, which is a plus. Now this is a side radiator. So you got complete access to the block. It's an 8.9 liter ISL 400 horse. And as you can tell by that red block, it is a Cummins. Air down here, I think it was a 10,000 pound hitch. We'll double check and make sure. And of course, I gotta re-add the ladder, but we gotta go check out what's on the roof because it is a three AC system. Let's jump up there. Oh, I'm sorry about the glare, it's so bright up here. Like I said, zone one, zone two, zone three, all the way up front, hard to see. Local TV antenna, a couple exhausts, couple skylights. That's about it. Good looking roof up here. All right, now that we're back on solid ground, that's what it looks like with the hood down for the engine cover. And here is the passenger side, another two slides. Like I said, slide toppers with metal covers. You got two more window awnings on this side. Whoa, look at that. All right, look at all these batteries. You got a couple up there, and it looks like four down there, all on slide trays. Tag tires back here. That other window awning. The main awning does have a metal cover too. I did have this out earlier. It started getting pretty windy and I did not want to be the reason that the awning broke. So we put that bad boy back in. 31.3 gallons on that propane tank. Another thing to point out, painted slide sidewalls. You know, you got yourself a premium coach when you see that. The other slide side of that pass through storage. And if you look up, you can see the inverter. Once again, perfect for a single broom or maybe mother-in-law. Fuel fill, I'll put the fuel capacity on screen. So it's probably 100 to 150 gallons. I'd be surprised if it was anything less. That's the exterior. Let's jump inside. 
We do only have one power step outside, keyless entry. And then it does have, oh, that's bright. It does have the step cover that comes out. Right when you walk into the left, you got, you know, awning controls, battery disconnect, porch, ceiling lights, bay lights, all that fun standard stuff. Let's get you guys out the sun. First view you'll get of the driver's side front slide and the passenger. PDQ floor plan, pretty popular floor plan throughout the years. You've seen a lot of different manufacturers with it. What's cool about this guy, it's a 42 PDQ. So it's a tag axle, even longer, gives you even more room in the bathroom and the bedroom. Allison 3000 series, electronic leveling jacks. Obviously automatic shades over here. Um, manual sun shades and night shades on the left and right side for the passenger and the driver. Let's start her up so you can hear that and get an idea of how 113,000 miles really affects these diesels. All right, you gotta wait for that. Wait to start to turn off. Oh, look, it turns off. Phew, we're started. Those gauges will catch up here in a second. 113,469 miles on the Roadmaster chassis. So you got eight outward mounted airbags, which is nice. That is your air horn, which is always a plus. Does it have? Doesn't look like it does. Sometimes you can turn the air horn off and it's got a regular horn. This one does not. But we do also have pedals in and out, which is always a plus. Exhaust brake, single stage. You got your tag axle dump and lift and then your shade controls over there. Your Aladdin onboard computer, air dump, aux blower, which was an option. Obviously your generator start, side docking lights, AC, kind of old style stereo system and dash AC system. Does have a backup camera does have side vision so it'll show you all the way down the side compartments left and right very nice your step cover oh there you are it's going the wrong way step cover comes out with a push of a button and will hold a good amount of weight all right so your driver and passenger seats they're of course actually in pretty damn good condition for the age as you can see passenger gets that nice luxury leg extension right there we're gonna put that in we got six way power seats and then lumbar and angling it and then twisting and of course backrest same concept over here on the driver's side maybe the lumbar in there wasn't enough so we had to add some more over on the passenger side couple buttons little map light which is that guy right there pass shade step cover two and some storage all right now, besides that, I guess I got to turn around one more time. Storage TV, more storage, local TV antenna, speakers up top. Most of your controls for this unit are midship, except for what you see at the entry door. And if you have a chance to come look at one of these, specifically 08 and older, feel the wood in there. Oh, they're all so solid. The doors in the bathroom and the bedroom just blow my mind. So. Now that we're inside, curbside slide number one, from there all the way down to, oh, where's my finger going? Right there, the kitchen and the couch. Kitchen does have a little extension on it. Passenger side, my gosh, I'm losing it. Driver's side, roadside, that corner all the way down right past the fridge right there. This little desk feature was actually standard for that. Well, not standard, but an option for this. So it came from the factory. Got a little pull-out tray there, a little pull-out tray here. Very, very cool. And you can see you can run power through the back. It's all solid surface countertops. And it did have some power hookups right down under there. And not necessarily a filing cabinet, but a couple other drawers. And then more storage down here for small fireworks. Your shades in here. All that nice style kind of woven. Look like they are MCD shades. These are the first MCD shades I've seen that are woven like this. You also got daytime, uh, daytime shades in here too. Right above us, we got some overhead compartments and as usual, you have three of them all connected to each other. Nice solid compartment doors throughout. Same concept up here. Not a booth dinette. We got ourselves a table and chairs. That does have an extension on it. Not much, but it's got an extension. You could add two more chairs to here if you want. Now, since we're here, before I forget, floor plan. 42 PDQ floor plan. Now there was 
like a ton of options for this thing. So I'm gonna try to show you guys everything I was able to find. You can see the stuff I highlighted on the right side. Those were all the available options and the ones that this one does actually have. As you can tell, the brochure was very extensive. And this is an important one. Weights, measurements, all that fun stuff. Tank gallon water heater. You can see your black tank. Fuel tank is 130. I knew it was between 100 and 150. We're selling it for 100 grand. 42 feet, 11 inches, 113,000 miles, raised rail, roadmaster chassis, 400 Cummins, all that standard kind of specification stuff. You guys know how it is. Let's get these looking all pretty again to an extent. All right. Just to the left of the dining now, we do have a French store, Samsung electric only fridge. So good thing you got that inverter. Oh, pulled that a little too hard, but that does slide if you know about these French store fridges. You still got a nice little mirror right here. I don't know if it's nice. Some people like them. Eh, it's a little dainty, but that's okay. Moving on back up front, this next slide out has a pull out air mattress in it. So you just lift those two cushions up, pull it out. It's got the little thing that lays down and then you got to fill it up with air, but it gives you at least a decently comfortable sleeping area. So it's same countertops throughout this whole coach, which are nice, even on the little pullout right there. Same concept with these overhead compartments. They are all connected. And then we'll just take a quick peek at the storage inside the kitchen. Convection microwave, we got no oven, three burner gas stove top right below. And then it is a dual sink, one, with very, very heavy corian covers. There's two. And then we do have an extension on the faucet. Down below, right here, you can actually have storage for those corian covers. Stove top, you got two burners back there also. That was the heavily used drawer. And this one. That's your pots and pans drawer, of course. What's cool about this extension is it does have some storage in here too that's accessible from both sides. So you can get it while it's closed up, or get it while it's open. Sponge per usual, bam. And we got some more storage down here. I'll be gonna get that towel out. Yeah. And then of course, I mean, I always wonder what people would put in here. Comment down below, let me know what you would put in here. Is this a spice rack? Is that the bourbon area? Who knows? Okay. So let's put this in really quick. I want to show you guys all the light panels on here. We have all the push button lights, under cab lights. Then you got living room ceiling lights. All push button edge lighting, back lights. And then you got multiple panels throughout this coach. You got one there, you got one up there, you got one in the bathroom, one in the bedroom, all that fun stuff. So, there is a pocket door to separate the bathroom from the main living area. And it's, it's a heavy son of a gun. That's a solid door right there. A three zone thermostat right here in the middle. Inverter control, power control, system heat, generator, level testers, uh, water heater, gas or electric, of course. And then all your slide controls are midship right here on this panel. But when you walk into the bathroom, got some storage down there, same countertops with this decent little sink. Another one of those nice little light panels. And then, some medicine cabinet area. Corner glass door shower. Does have like the little seat in there. And a slightly expandable faucet head. Right behind us, we have a com, not a combo, a stack washer dryer, whirlpool there. And right above us is the dryer, also a whirlpool. To the left of that, behind this extremely heavy door for the bathroom is your toilet, which has another vanity. I love dual vanities. I think it's genius. Got some storage under there. Oh, got some TP storage under there. A drawer. Some of the most storage you're going to find in a bathroom. Fantastic fan. Oh, I didn't look at this earlier. Speaker controls and fuses. And then medicine cabinets. So many medicine cabinets. Pretty, pretty great room in front. I mean, I guess if you got really long legs, you may hit. Good area for the TP. Sometimes you'll have to almost leave the bathroom to get to your toilet paper. Another pocket door right here for the bedroom. We won't close it all the way. Two additional slides back here. 
your first slide out to follow that molding. And all it is is TV and storage, not a very deep slide. What is that, 12 inches deep, nothing too crazy. Your king bed slide though, is a little bit deeper, probably around 24 inches. I never, Ugh. you can actually do that with one hand. As you can see, it is a sleep number. Good, we do have the other two chairs for that dinette. All right, let's try not to oh, smash this. Okay, yeah, good enough. Those three storage trays are connected up above. And you can see you've got those little light controls, map lights, music button. Same over here, full wall closet with locking doors. It, oh, I forgot to show you the central vac system. It's in the bathroom. But here's your wardrobe. It's not a bad size. It's not massive, but not bad. I'll show you the water heater and then don't get this thing out of here water heaters right there it's kind of interesting when you see it from the outside it's so high up there you never know when you're on the inside and then last but not least we got a little bit of storage right here usually this is where washers and dryers go but you have a little bit more closet or linen space i've almost hit my head on this fan a couple times i'm on top right in front of the uh right in front of the closet it's got a little step up so if you're tall, just watch out. You may hit your head on the fan. Small complaint. All right. So like I said, guys, $100,000 is what we're selling this for. What I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna get all the slides in. I'm keeping the, the window awnings out. I'm not gonna put those in, but I'm gonna show you what the accessibility is with the slides in. So let me do that. I'll be right back. And here we are all closed up in travel mode. This is what it's gonna look like when you're on the road. Still do some work if you want to. Be a little tight with the counter extension out, but really the whole left side of the kitchen's pretty accessible. You could even open the freezer. The left door does hit just barely, but the right door gives you full access. It's actually not bad. You do have to get a little skinny right here. Something I don't do very well with. But then your bathroom, nothing changes. Everything's the same for the washer dryer, the toilet. But the bedroom does have a big change. You lose your walkway right in front. Definitely not getting through there, but you can roll across the bed if you want to get to the closet back there. So there you guys go. Let's go jump outside, see what it looks like, minus those ugh, window awnings. So as usual, I will put all my contact info on the screen, my email and my phone number. If you have any questions, you guys are more than willing to reach out. We just put this for sale online just this morning, like I said, $100,000. That is the NADA average retail. And this coach is worth every penny of it. It is incredibly clean. Give you one other peek from that driver's side out of the sun. I really appreciate you guys viewing this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you do have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below or just reach out over text or email. Have a great day.